So g'day guys, it's Davies. Welcome. Now, looking at area, page 47, question four, I uploaded this into Connect anyway. You can have a look. This is uploaded, but I just thought I might go through this question anyway, and how we might tackle this. And the way we might tackle this is to kind of look at this in sections. And what I would do is I kind of say, well, you know, this is kind of one shape here, and then you got another shape here. So the way to tackle this for area would be to look at it like this, to sort of split it into two rectangles rather than the complex shape that's in front of you. So the way I would do it is I'd say, well, the top, you've got eight metres across the top, and we've got six metres down the bottom here, which is the length of this side here. Now we've got this initial distance here, well, this bit left over, we don't know what it is, sort of a question mark here. But what we might say is, is that if that total length at the top is eight metres, there's six metres, so you'd math this and you go, well, eight takes six equals two, so that would be two metres here, which would then help us with this shape. Now, by the same token, we might go over here, we might have a look at this and we might say, well, that's three and a half metres, this end piece, and this end piece here is two metres. So effectively, the length of this side here would be 3.5 plus two. So you go, you map it, 3.5, plus 2.0, you can do it that way, drop your decimal place down, 5 plus 0, well that's 5, 3 plus 2, well that's 5, so that's 5.5 metres in here, okay, which is this distance here. Then you might start to do this in sections, you might say, well, the area of this one here, in front of me, would be the 6 metres that's here multiplied by the 3.5 metres, so you have 6 times 3.5, okay. Now, the way to do that would be to get a calculator or to multiply the six by three. So six times three would equal 18. And then half of six, well, that's three. So it'd be 18 plus three would give you 21 meters squared for this area here, 21 square meters. And then this other bit over here, you tell yourself, well, that's two meters here. That's 5.5 there. So I'd go two multiplied by 5.5 again. 2 times 5, 2 lots of 5, well they're 10, and then 2 lots of a half is 1, so it'd be 10 plus 1, which equals 11 square metres. And again, you could do that using a calculator if you wanted to. Okay, so that's basically how we do that. The last thing we do to get the total area of this would be to add the 21 metres, which is this here, plus the 11 square metres here. So you'd end up with 21 plus 11, which will give you a total of 1 plus 2, Sorry, one plus one is two, and two plus one is three. So you've got 32 meters squared or 32 square meters. Thank you.